So now, ladies and gentlemen, the final event of the Commonwealth Youth Games here in the Isle of Man, the men's 800 meters freestyle relay. Please welcome on the swimmers. In lane number three, Matthew Johnson, Adam Rowe, Omeleko Koka and David Godridge, the team of England. In lane number four, Lewis Smith, Oliver Tennant, Daniel Woods, and Gian Lloyd, the team from Wales. On to the final event of this evening's session and the final event of the swimming at the Commonwealth Youth Games 2011. We are watching the men's 800 freestyle relay. Swimming in lane number one for Australia then is Tuhami Maxwell. For England in lane number three, Matthew Johnson. Wales in lane number four have Lewis Smith. Scotland have Gareth Mills in lane number five. In lane six is South Africa's Christopher van der Sand. And in lane seven, Alexander Hancock swims for New Zealand. Now these gentlemen all have eight lengths to do of the pool. And we have a number of medal winners throughout the last three days swimming in this final event. But at the moment, at the halfway point of leg number one is South Africa's Alexander, sorry, Christopher van der Sand, 53.38. He was the bronze medalist in our backstroke events. But expect to see some of our boys come back strongly. Matthew Johnson won a gold and a silver medal here. He won the gold on day number one in the 400 individual medley in the silver this evening. But at the 150 mark, then it is still Christopher van der Sand for South Africa. Now, Australia have won so far four out of the five relay swam. This is the final one. England won the previous one, so they've messed up the mix of Australia's gold medal relay success. But at the moment, it is still South Africa. South Africa's Christopher Van Sand will hand over to Matthew Vogel, who'll be looking to touch in around a 151 point. He does just that, just under 150.76 then for Christopher Van der Sand. Second is Team England, 150.96. And third, the team from Scotland is 151.45. So Robert Gerlich for Australia in lane number two has dived in. Adam Rowe for England, Oliver Tennant for Wales, Craig Benson for Scotland. South Africa have Martin Vogel and New Zealand have Corey Main. Corey Main, one of our most successful swimmers here. He's won three gold medals in the 50, 100 and 200 meters backstroke. But England are absolutely annihilating the field here. The swimmer in for England is Adam Rowe. He came fourth on the individual 200 meters freestyle. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are just under halfway of this men's 800 meters freestyle. A lot of these boys have swam some courageous swims. They do need your support. Please shout and scream. The swimmers have given so much passion over the last three days, and they need to finish this off with all the support they can in the men's 800 freestyle relay. So it's still Team England. They are actually increasing their lead. They've just seen the ladies in the previous lead it, late relay get the gold medal, but Adam Rowe turns in 3, 12, 11. He will hand over to Olamalako Koka from England. He was part of the silver medal team that won that silver medal in the 4x100 meter team. So we are coming up to the halfway mark, and here comes New Zealand. Corey Main will touch second at the halfway mark, but Team England then, they touch on a 3.40.61. New Zealand, 3.42.94. And third in lane number four is the team from Wales in 3.43.97. So Eugene T dives in for England, sorry, for Australia. Malaka Koka for England. Daniel Woods for Wales. Mark Sharanik for Scotland. Hendrik Alberts for South Africa and Michael Mincham for New Zealand. But it is still England at the moment as the battle goes on for second and third place. But we still have so much to play for. It's certainly not over yet. 
We have still eight swimmers to dive into the water and those swimmers do consist of gold medalists over the last three days. But Malako Koka then for England, he is hanging on to his lead. But the battle now between South Africa, New Zealand and Wales. Wales will hand over to the 200 freestyle silver medalist, Yian Lloyd. But he won the gold medal in the 100 and the gold medal in the 200. But Malako Koka then, he will come in. He will hand over to David Godridge. 50 meters then to go for Malako Koka swimming for England. He touches 50260. And Wales are now starting to increase their second place lead. But all of these swimmers are swimming from the heart. The energy really will be sapping in the latter part of their 200 meters. And you can see that with Maleko, who's trying to hang on. The pain is starting to kick in. Please give him a wave as he comes down the last five meters. So Malako Koka hands over in 5.31.46. He hands over to David Godridge. David Godridge then swimming for Team England. Team England really are swimming from the heart here. A very passionate swim by all four boys. But the battle goes on for the silver and bronze medal position. Yian Lloyd, a very impressive weekend this, with two gold medals and one silver medal. Yian Lloyd making the most of that underwater turn there. But it is still Team England from Wales, from New Zealand, from South Africa. So it's David Godridge for Team England, Yian Lloyd for Wales, Zahir Hamit for South Africa, and Matthew Hutchins for New Zealand. Matthew Hutchins in lane number seven won the gold medal earlier on this evening in the 200 meters freestyle and Yian Lloyd is crawling back on England stroke for stroke. Ladies and gentlemen, please give all of our swimmers a wave. This is a tough battle for all of the boys. The pain is setting in. They really are swimming purely and utterly from the heart. Guts and determinations and I have to say fantastic underwater turns by Yian Lloyd. Ladies and gentlemen, this will come down to the last length. Come on, let's give your support for all of the teams, but especially Team England and Wales. They are coming into the last 15 meters of this race and a very gutsy, heartfelt swim by Yian Lloyd as he touches home for Team Wales to take the gold medal in 7.22.16. Silver medal goes to Team England in 7.23.99 and the bronze medal to Team New Zealand 7.25.75. So if I can take your attention to the scoreboard and you will shortly see that replay. And this is where Yai and Lloyd won it on the turns. It's all about underwater turns on short course swimming. He turns on the last turn. Just look at what he takes out of England on this turn. A good course for a body length. This was swum from the heart. But I have to say, all of these teams did a fantastic job this evening. But Wales take the victory in 7.22.16. Now, ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you please to stand on your feet again and show your appreciation to the gentlemen that have just swum the 800 meters freestyle and all of the rest of the gentlemen that are standing on poolside who have competed at the Commonwealth Youth Games 2011.